New at 5 o'clock, this is our first look at the man who turned himself in for a hit and run crash that killed a man on his way to work. It happened last weekend in Chula Vista. Today, he appeared in court to answer to those charges. Our Ted News reporter John Horn is joining us on this story. And John, he says the car he was driving is now in Mexico. That's right, Steve. He went to Mexico, walked back across the border, bought a new car, all before Guillermo Jimenez turned himself into police earlier this week and then was arraigned today here at the courthouse in Chula Vista. Now, Jimenez sat silently in the courtroom, only saying yes when Judge Kerry Katz asked if he understood her orders. He pleaded not guilty to striking and killing 62-year-old Roger Arellano with his BMW Sunday night. Arellano was walking to his car when Jimenez allegedly hit Ariano so hard that he severed his right leg. Prosecutors say alcohol may have been a factor. It happened at 4th Avenue near Moss Street, which is a little more than a mile from the courthouse. Now today at the site, there's a small memorial and green evidence markings still in the street. Ariano's family was not in the courtroom, but earlier today, his longtime partner's son told me he was glad Jimenez, quote, manned up and turned himself in. It also turns out that Jimenez was in the group of onlookers when police were at the scene Sunday night. At some point, Mr. Jimenez returned to the scene uh, while officers were there, did not identify himself as the driver. But he was caught on police body camera footage. Now, Jimenez is charged with gross ve vehicular manslaughter plus hit and run causing death. If convicted, he faces up to 11 years in state prison. Bail is set at $100,000. A preliminary hearing is scheduled for later this month. Live in Chula Vista, John Horn, 10 News. John, thank you.